little breezy this morning. Is it April? April 16th, I believe it is. Friday. So we're down here in one of the bee yards. We've, we've been down here cleaning up quite a bit. And the reason for that, we generally put, oh, eight to ten hives right here. And the honey flow is so-so. Uh, Some years are better than other others. I mean, we get a lot of uh, milkweed, uh, which produces a real nice mild honey. A lot of dandelions from the neighbors. Uh, we don't have a lot of fruit trees down here. And then, uh, of course, clover and things like that. But uh, what I'm, what, what, what we're going to do here is uh, we're cleaning out this spot here, and we got them marked off. We've got a 50 by 50 area at the moment, and we're going to test it this year to see how well it does. But we're going to uh, dig up all these, this sod, do some rototillin, and then we're going to use this as a uh, sunflower field. Uh, we're going to start really small this year. We got oh, a couple thousand seeds of uh, four or five different sunflowers and we're going to mix that with uh, uh, some clover and things like that around it and then uh, see if that produces uh, enough nectar to uh, to make a difference in the honey flow here. If that works out then you know this fall we'll harvest a bunch of the seeds and then expand and we've got about a four four and a half acre field here that we can keep expanding and uh, see how we can uh, grow and kind of add, add a few little extras to our uh, operation. We're, we're going to be hitting a lot of uh, farmers markets this year uh, if all works well. So we'll maybe we'll have some sunflowers and things like that to go along with the honey just to kind of supplement everything. But, uh, but anyways, that's, that's kind of where we're at in this bee yard. Uh, I've got a couple other areas where uh, some agriculture people, uh, farmers, you know, with uh, pumpkins and stuff like that, I've talked to and uh, have an initial good feeling about uh, uh, starting up some pollination services. And then some other people just in general that's got a lot of wildflowers and countryside that uh, more than happy to allow me to expand on their property if, uh, if need be. So it looks good. All we need to do is come up with the bees now. So. And I think we're going to be able to do that just fine, assuming the weather cooperates. But uh, there we have it. All kinds of pollen being brought into these hives. And uh, I dug into a few of them and uh, saw some cat brood in early stages of where the, uh, the queen's been laying. Just about all of them. I, I got one that looks like they might be trying to supersede, but we'll keep an eye on that. But for the most part, we're really, really happy. It's been, uh, it's been a great winter. We're off to a great start this year, other than the weather. The weather's been a, seems a little bit behind here for Central Maine. But we're going to uh, you know, roll with the punches. That's all we can do. So we're uh, we coming around this one here. So I'm sorry if I'm making everyone sick. Down there, it's, a, it's down there. It's a double deck Raxi combined. To, what appeared to be a queenless hive. I couldn't find any traces of a queen and just looked like bees were dying off over the winter so I combined them and uh, smart thing to do is combine them with a with a uh, with a uh, a strong hive. Never combine two weak hives. You'll just have one big weak hive. Combine a weak one with a strong one but uh, and then here we got where I'm gonna have my my dual queens. Let me go ahead and take a look. Again, I apologize for making people sick. We're gonna I'm gonna do something different with the bottom boards, but uh, I'm basically gonna have two queens separated by a queen excluder with the honey supers on top. And then uh, that's basically all I'm gonna have in this fenced in area. The rest of them are gonna be in different fields. So it's been a it's been a really good winter. The wife is down there raking up. We're cleaning up the yard here a little bit. Most of these bees are going to be gone here in the next, within the next month. If not sooner, they'll be in their respective fields. And then we'll kind of go from there. But there we go. There's Giles Honey. What is this? Mid, are we in, where, where are we at? Mid-April. We're doing, uh, doing pretty good. Pretty happy with everything. Yeah, we're hoping to get up to about 20 hives this year, so. I think we can do it relatively easy. Anyways. <laughs>